Hello again. Uh, thanks for tuning in. This is Dr. Walker. Um, this time I want to talk a little about a supplement called glucosamine and um, how it works and some things that you can do to reduce your inflammation overall and uh, how glucosamine might help you in terms of your osteoarthritis. So the big reason I want to talk about this supplement is because I do not want um, this to happen to you. So when a person is on supplements, specifically glucosamine, control and sulfate, it's because they have joint pain. And the joint pain is typically from osteoarthritis. Um, osteoarthritis is, uh, some believe, has some inflammatory component uh, to it. But arthritis, looking at um, this knee radiograph, for example, a person would have to have severe uh, osteoarthritis before they have a knee replacement. So when you have early osteoarthritis like this person does, then you can try this, uh, this supplement to see if it works for you. Now about half of the people that um, I've seen over the years, uh, they advocate for this. They, they're saying that um, without this chondroitin sulfate, glucosamine, their knee pain was just so severe and so bad and it works for them. So for about half the people it actually works for. So this is a person with very early osteoarthritis. This is a person that conjoint sulfate might work for. So when we, when we talk about arthritis, we're looking at sort of joint space narrowing and joint space loss, essentially. So the idea is that the space that you've seen here and here is cartilage. So when, you're, when you've lost that cartilage uh, and there's sort of bone on bone sort of touching each other, then the pain becomes significantly worse. So early osteoarthritis, though, the thought is that you have some loss of the cartilage and you may have sort of cracks or holes in the cartilage, the intent of the glucosamine is then to go in and fill in the fill in the cracks, like potholes essentially, fill in the cracks in the in the cartilage. So uh, again, if it works for you, it works for you. If it doesn't, then then uh, then stop. But this person probably has low grade osteoarthritis, maybe a little bit of spurring sort of sort of here. So then they have to underline cartilage, cartilage loss. This person, for example, though, would probably benefit from a knee replacement because, as you can see, there is significant joint space narrowing here. Now, there's bone on bone touching. So, again, this person would probably benefit from uh, a knee replacement. That person before, and, and again, the reason I'm bringing this up is because there are probably six of us radiologists looking in and this person's knee thinking, why does this person have a knee replacement? So, here is the image that they send to us. And again, what we're supposed to do for this patient is look at this person's knee and say, is there a sign of failure that we see on this radiograph that would um, bring them back to surgery? That's intent, and they're looking for you know things like infection and those kind of things. And so this is blooming from the person's knee MRI. Now I can't tell you anything from this. So is this hardware failure? I don't know. Is this an infection? We don't know, right? So again, the intent is to try supplementation, if you would try things before you have surgery and it's you know with me going forward i'm not a proponent for surgery in sort of in most regards there, there are some things that we'll talk about uh, as we go forward that i would suggest or recommend in surgery but for for most for the most part i do not think a person with minimal osteoarthritis would need to have need to have surgery how does it work how does uh conjoin uh sulfate work glucosamine when i started in medicine years ago there was lots of controversy as to whether or not this uh, thing actually works. So one thought was that the molecule itself, the gag protein complex, was just too large to get across the, the, um, the stomach wall um, to go in and fill in those potholes essentially in the cartilage. So it, was too, it was too large. So it, had, it would have to be broken down into the amino acids, into the amino acids, uh, which again, the gag molecule didn't get across the uh, in, into the blood. So how did it actually go in and fill in the fill in the uh, the cracks in the cartilage? New thought, though, regarding how glucosamine works, is that it binds to lectins in your food that you've eaten, and then take them out of your system via that method. Right? Uh, lectins are proteins that are associated with inflammation. The intent though is that if you have less of these lectins in your body, you have overall less inflammation. So then your knee can sort of begin to heal itself. Your joints can essentially begin to, 
over your entire body, inflammation that you typically have from lectins would be significantly decreased if you were to reduce them. So th this is a picture of foods that's high in lectin. For example, tomatoes, for example, bananas, grapes, peanuts as well. Um, if you remove those from your diets, the intent is or the idea is that your overall inflammation would decrease. So does glucosamine. Glucosamine is supposed to bind to some of these to some of these lectin molecules in your food and remove them from your system and then overall decrease your inflammation. I believe this second model, not the initial model where this says the GAG protein goes in and sort of fills in the cracks in the cartilage, that was sort of an old school thought. And again, it was controversy about that way back in the day. So, um, and, and, and again, I didn't believe it then because it didn't make any sense in that the, 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 the protein had to be broken down into, into the amino acids. So that didn't make any sense. This lectin conversation though makes a whole lot of sense. And in fact, I would also suggest or think that if you were to decrease the amount of these foods specifically, uh, specifically peanuts and tomatoes, and tomatoes again, very high association with sort of knee inflammation or joint inflammation in general, removing even that, just, just that by itself out of your diet should also decrease your um, overall inflammation. But again, the glucosamine, the intent of that uh, uh, is to bind to lectins in your food and then remove them from your body then overall decreasing inflammation in your system. So this is the brand that um, uh, that many of the patients that I know use. And, and again, for most people, the people that it actually works for, about half of them, a little bit more than half, I would uh, suspect. Um, if it works for you, it'll work in about two or three months. If it does not work for you, then just stop, right? But this will cause you probably 20 to 25 bucks uh, per month to have this supplement that you can use. And again, if it works, great. If it doesn't work, then you've lost really nothing. What I'm trying to do though is trying to prevent you from having unwanted joint surgery, specifically knee surgery, if you don't need it. Um, if you don't need it, then you wouldn't have to go undergo those that, that, that procedure. But you can try the supplement. Again, obviously talk with your doctor and say, hey, this is what I'm thinking about trying. Um, and, and the reason I'm saying that is just to be certain that there isn't something else that's in your medicine cabinet that's going to react with this thing in some sort of weird way. I don't know of too many things that'll uh, do that, uh, uh, that will this will react with in a, in a poor way. But talk with them as well and see what, uh, make sure it's certain that they're sort of on board with you trying this. And again, try it for two or three months. If it doesn't work in two or three months, you've lost nothing except for a couple of bucks. Thanks for listening again. I hope that helps a little bit. If there are other things that you do that helps your joint pain, uh, let us know so we can probably share, with, share that with other people. Uh, if you like the content of what we're talking about as well, vitamins, mineral, weight loss, uh, going forward, then give us a thumbs up and a like and a subscribe. Uh, we would appreciate that. Uh, otherwise, stay well.